One of the oldest stories in racing is that the people with the most money are usually the ones that win. In Formula One, teams like Ferrari and Mercedes spend so much more money than smaller teams like Haas. And the same is true all the way down in racing. The team with the more money is usually the one that wins. They can do more testing, they can buy more things, they can be a little bit more adventurous, or they can take a few more risks than a smaller team that has to use everything they possibly can for as long as possible before they move on to something new. And of course, this is true in grassroots motorsports as well. So even things like autocross and club racing, the big thing is people who have a lot more money can spend more money on tires. So they can go through a set of $1,200 slicks in a weekend and not really worry about it because they'll just buy more next weekend. Whereas some people are stuck using a tire that's gonna last longer, but it's gonna provide a lot less grip. And that could be one or two seconds a lap in difference between a 200 treadwear tire and a like 50 treadwear slick. So it's a huge, huge difference and a lap time and if you think about it if you're doing 20 laps in a race and there is a second difference a 20 second gap between you and the driver in front of you is a huge gap and it's something that's going to be almost impossible to overcome and of course there are skilled drivers with poor cars that can still come in and do well and shine but eventually they're going to move on to a better team with more money that can better showcase their talents with a better car. One way that you can even the playing field in something like a local autocross or some club events is you can use the used slicks from race teams. So while race team has the budget to move to a new tire, as soon as their current tire is showing any sort of degradation, people like me will come in and buy those tires at a huge discount. So I was able to get this full set of Continental Slicks for $200. I got it for $50 a tire for a 225 45 17 Continental Slick. So this has no grooves, very sticky. You can see just how much crap it picked up off the paddock as I was leaving the track. So they are extremely sticky. Night and day between these tires and those tires. I could not get the car to slide on these coming around turns and I drive a little bit aggressively. I like to steer with the throttle. So it was a huge learning curve to go from street tires, which I could very easily steer from the throttle, to these. These were a whole new game and they were great. And for $200 for four tires, it's really hard to beat. I don't know if I could get any brand new like Chinese tire for $50 a tire in this size. So it is a great, great deal. Now they're not all going to be that cheap. So even though this is on my Z, I picked these up from Bimmer World. They were using another BMW race cars. Now, of course, the larger the diameter of the wheel and the larger the tire, they're gonna be more expensive. So while these are a relatively small tire, my car only weighs about 2,700 pounds without me in the car. And even though these are only listed at a 225 because of the way slicks are built and it has this really aggressive square shoulder, these are actually just as wide as my 245 section street tires. So it is still a lot of grip. Plus you have to consider the space lost. Plus you have to consider all of the tread that is lost by the grooves for water evacuation. And this has none of that. So this probably has just as much grip as like a really aggressive 275 summer tire maybe even more and it's only a 225 so it's going to be a lighter tire and of course they're super cheap so even if these were a hundred dollars a tire and you were at four hundred dollars for a set of slicks which is what you will be realistically what you're going to find i just found these for a really good deal so if you're paying $400 for a set of used slicks that you can get two or three good weekends out of, that's definitely gonna save you some money. And while you won't be quite as fast as you could be, this is still a great option, especially if you're doing track days and you want a second set of tires, you're like pulling these on a trailer or you're putting them in your trunk, depending on what type of car you have. This is a great way to save your street tires. You're not gonna beat them up on the track and you're gonna be able to use these slicks in an environment where they're useful. So even if you're just doing track days, you can still use these slicks, drive to the track in your street tires, change over your wheels, use these all weekend, switch back, and instead of burning up a set of $1,000 Pilot Sports, you're burning up a set of $400 slicks. So it's a great, great option. You can find these from all sorts of different sites and vendors. There's a pretty big industry around this because of course race teams are going through a lot of tires and if they can offset their cost by selling these for a discounted price, of course they'll do that and it's our benefit. Plus, I don't know how much everyone else cares about this and this one obviously I hit it on a curb or something 
but where it says continental on the tire in the yellow i think looks super cool watching a race last weekend at vir seeing this kind of spin around on the cars as they drove by it just adds a really cool racy look to it as you can see i have two full sets of slicks i have my old set which is actually ruined and needs to be switched out and i've got another set waiting to replace them i was able to make these tire holders myself so it's just some plywood lag bolts and some chain to help hold them up you can get pre-made ones and a bunch of different designs out there. They've been hanging up here like this for two years without any issues. But these are a great option for anyone on a budget. You can get a full set of slicks for $400. Go out there, use them for two or three full weekends of racing or track days or whatever you want to use them for. And it's going to be a lot cheaper than going through a set of brand new Hoosiers for only a little bit of drop in performance. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop those in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.